Robbo, just your reaction, not only to the loss, but the way it unfolded tonight? Yeah, um, you know, obviously, first 20 minutes, um, I think we, you know, probably had uh, one or two sixes again, three errors, I think, in that period of time, which gave them field position, and then, uh, you know, they just executed really well. I think cut two shift tries and then, you know, last play try off the post, and um, yeah, just ended up. Uh, I think the field position that we gave them there, uh, well, they earned as well through that uh, that first period of the game, and then uh, and then the physicality. I felt like we got uh, our contacts uh, were poor and theirs were good as well. So uh, I thought our bench guys came on and then sort of shifted that uh, towards the back end of the first half. It was close to us grabbing one there, and then uh, they just definitely sent the tone for the second half as well. What were you saying to that half time? Twenty four nil down. Uh, it was pretty. Um, we sort of assessed the first half pretty quickly, but we had to move on to what we needed to do on the second half. Um, we we're pretty clear about how we wanted to come out and play, and, and belief in you know trying to knock it off one by one. And um, we started that way uh, fairly well. Um, disappointed in you know I felt like we had another try there um, that should have been a try that that were on our way, and that that was I think that would have been 24-16. You know, and then it starts to get close. I was going to say, Robbo, it's a really nice exchange of passes down the left. So Ali goes through, looks yeah. like it's a try, gets called back. Do you think it was an errant whistle? Like, obviously, you don't think it was a, a forward pass? Uh, no, I didn't think it was forward. I don't think anybody thought it was forward except for the ref. You know, even looking at the replays and the angle of the pass, you know, that's a big call in that moment. And you can't get that wrong. Teddy, you were involved in the play, you've got a pretty good view of it. How did you see it? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't think it was forward. Um, yeah, we thought we could have probably should put a score off the back of it. It could have been a uh, different contest, but yeah, I didn't I didn't agree that it was forward. Robo, Luke Keery got a couple of knocks early in the game. How's he doing? Yeah, he's fine. How do you pick the guys up after a loss like this and make sure that they're ready to go for a knockout final next weekend? It's, uh, it's footy. It's what you do. This is what, um, you know, you... Lick your wounds, pick up your lessons, and then uh, you get going into next week with real positivity and, and, and move on. That's what we live week to week, and um, we've got to do it. That's what we do. Robert, you talked about your contacts in the first 20 minutes or so. Did you feel you were letting them come to you a bit too much? Were you, were you aggressive mm. enough to kind of knock them off the game? Uh, I, felt, felt like, no, I felt like we were going to them, but I felt like they were winning the, the physical battle there. I feel like the, the contacts uh, through the middle, especially, uh, it was probably on the first couple of plays on, on a few occasions, but definitely sort of tackles three, four, five. Um, we, yeah, that was, uh, they were bumping us back uh, on multiple occasions there, so that was, yeah, disappointing. Is Jack Jones coming straight back in next week? Yeah. The scoreline's closer, probably not asking the question, but the fact that they were so dominant, uh, what's it going to take to beat a team like Penrith? Do you have to be perfect? No, you don't have to be perfect. No team's perfect. They were, though. Was that a perfect performance in their first half? Do you think? Uh, I thought, though, I think they were 22 from 22, so that's that, but you know, it's pretty silly to say they're perfect. You know, every team opens doors in different ways and you've got to take opportunities. You know, that's why uh, Melbourne finished on top, you know, and they finished second. So, um, but you have to be very, very good, you know, and um, uh, and we weren't, you know. To Teddy Lock gets made of that 10 in a row, but I think he kept them trials for about 48, 50 minutes. He did score two, almost had three. Does that stretch either side of half time give you the confidence if you can get the Roosters from really going, you can match it with this team. Yeah, yeah. we just we spoke about that. We can do it in periods of games. Um, you know, when we put it all together, it's pretty hard to beat. But it's just we haven't we haven't probably had any performance all year, especially against teams like Penrith and Melbourne. You have to build for 80 minutes. So, I mean, that, that first half at the start of the game, we can't can't come out in the final and, and given that much possession and that much ball, it's just it's, it's hard to run down. So. We can do it in patches, we just gotta um, execute David for this This year, NRL on 9 is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights, 
action seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast, get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour. Grab a seat on the couch for that. And of course, my favourite, Freddie and the Ape. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm. Subscribe to NRL Online and get all your entertainment there.